So ever since Ralph Ranić was appointed Manchester United manager till the end of the season, and then at the very least as a club consultant for the next two years, Manchester United seem to consistently be linked with RB Leipzig's 23-year-old Malian central midfielder Amadou Hadara. Now Manchester United's central midfield issues have been well publicised not just by me on this channel, but by the social media football community and even the mainstream media as well. With Fred's error proneness, lack of creativity and not being an elite ball winning midfielder that United need, and McTominay's lack of inspiration in any real area, being a decent jack of all trades for a decent mid table side, but nowhere near good enough to be a starter for a Champions League level side. Matic is a bit better on the ball than McTominay, but he has really declined over the past two to three years and even Pogba's got issues as well with him seemingly in a cycle of injuries and not exactly being a perfect fit for the double pivot role in Ralph Ranić's 4 triple 2 system anyway. But before I go any further let me tell you about today's sponsor which is Top 11, a free to play football management game available on iOS, Android and web browser. The game is played by over 240 million players worldwide and it's available in 31 different languages. You'll be in charge of every aspect of your club from the signings, training, the system you use and leading your side to trophies. There's four competitions every season, the League, the Cup, the Champions League and the Super League. And you and your friends can team up to play against other managers from around the world. Over the winter they do have a new update as well called the Winter Craze which started on the 5th of December and does last two months which involves four live events and allows you to compete with other players from around the community. You can also customise your own ground, collect jerseys and emblems, making it feel like an actual club rather than just managing a set of players. So if you fancy yourself as a a tactical genius or a great man manager then this is the game for you click the link in the description to download the top 11 app and if you do download it and play it make sure to send me some screenshots of how you get on on Instagram or Twitter United need not just an energetic central midfielder who can fit well into an intense aggressive pressing system but also have the forward passing ability, dynamism and ball carrying ability through the centre of midfield, which is a combination of what both Fred and Pogba offer. Amadou Hadara is exactly that type of midfielder, being what I would consider to be a modern day Roy Keane type of central midfielder, an all round player who is box to box, providing the industrious tackling ability of a ball winner, but also having the creativity and goal scoring touch in the final third. He has a contract at Leipzig until 2025, but does reportedly have a release clause of 33 million pounds. Hadara's athleticism, power and tackling ability make him well suited to breaking up opposition counter-attacks, being able to race back goal side and put in a well-timed tackle to stop an opposition player driving forward the attack. He's also fantastic at knowing when to jump out of the midfield line to apply pressure to a player in the final third and even though Fred is also very good at doing this, Hadara is a better tackler, being composed, not diving in and timing his tackles well which is an extremely valuable skill to have in a central midfield midfielder in this high pressing style as it will enable United to win the ball back more often rather than mere halting the opposition's ball progression forward. Now I will admit that Hadara's technique on the ball can look a little clunky in a similar sort of way to how Mo Salah, Wilfred and Didi and Moise Akin look in terms of their technique. However like Mo Salah, Hadara is an extremely good technical player in terms of his close ball control, utilising his quick feet to shift the ball and then drive away from players in tight areas which enables him to progress the ball through the centre of the pitch with the ball at his feet in a similar way to how Moussa Dembele would do for Tottenham. With the likes of McTominay and Matic in midfield, United often suffer from a lack of movement to play out of an opposition side's press and Hadara would solve this issue. He's very good at using his athleticism and awareness of space to dart forward providing an option for the player on the ball and having a central midfielder like this with this sort of energy certainly allows your side to play through the opposition's defensive shape a lot quicker and move the ball up the pitch at a greater speed which is perfect for Ranić's counter-pressing direct style of play in possession and that's why Ranić has been such a fan of Hadara signing him at Salzburg and then at Leipzig later. Hadara is isn't what you would call a deep line playmaker in the mold of Rodri or Jorginho. His long and incisive passing abilities are good, an improvement on Fred and McTominay but they're not top level as they aren't his key assets. What he is great at is ball carrying which I have said before, he's industrious tackling and pressing and his energy to get from box to box. When thinking of central midfielders abilities in possession, it mostly boils down to how they can progress the ball forward. For players like Rodri and Jorginho, it comes from their ability to play out of pressure and play incisive passes into players between the lines or long passes to move the ball forward in a more direct fashion. However, midfielders can also progress the ball 
ball forward, using their ball carrying ability via dribbling through the centre of the pitch, as well as their quick interplay with other players in the centre of midfield and off the ball movement, making runs ahead of play to then receive the ball in an advanced position, and Hadara provides all of these. Fred does provide these abilities, but to a lesser degree, Hadara is a lot better technically than Fred, and without the ball, Hadara is a much better one-on-one -on -one defender, allowing him to break up opposition attacks, which is definitely one of Fred's weaknesses, and the main reason as to why he can't play as a sole holding player in midfield. In this sense, you could call Hadara the complete box-to-box -box midfielder, but like any great box-to-box -box midfielder, Hadara also has the ability to put the ball into the back of the net. Against Manchester United in last season's Champions League group stage, we saw him scored a second goal in a 3-2 victory. He was playing as a right wing back in a 3-4-3 system in this game and the ball got switched over to the left side and a deep cross from Angelino finds Hadara coming round the back post and he has the technique and composure to side foot volley the ball past De Gea. But when he plays as a central midfielder, he also showcases his shooting ability from central areas as well. Having a knack of arriving late in the attack and either drilling the ball low and hard past the keeper or smashing the ball past the keeper into the net. Because of his energy Energy and athleticism, Hadara is very good at being the late runner in the attack, making a movement from deep and often receiving the ball after making a run into a vacated space, and when in those positions, he does have that goal scoring ability. Before Ranić's appointment, I thought United needed more of a deeper line creator as a central midfielder to play in Solskjaer's midfield double pivot in the 4 2 3 1, as Fred and McTominay, when left on the ball a lot, didn't really have the passing ability to open up deep defensive units. And this is why, under Solskjaer, we did see United struggle to break down opposition sides when they dropped off and sat in a deep compact shape. I don't think Hadara would have fitted this role as he isn't really a playmaking midfielder but an industrious box to box midfielder as I've already stated. However Ranić's style of play is more focused on quick vertical passes forward when the opposition are out of their defensive shape rather than breaking down a deep defensive structure so United don't need a Tony Cruz type central midfielder as much now after that system change. In this respect you could compare Hadara to a player like John McGinn. Both players are extremely quick, athletic, good carriers of the ball, industrious and have shooting ability in the final third. I often think of these two as a hybrid between a winger and a defensive midfielder, having the defensive attributes of a ball winning midfielder, but in possession they have the technical ability and athleticism of a traditional winger. However, when we compare Hadara and McGinn statistically, we can see how much better Hadara is. So this is both players' FBF reports from the last 365 days, compared against every other midfielder fielder in Europe's top five leagues. So in terms of defensive metrics, Hadara isn't recording Ndidi or Kante level numbers, but for a box-to-box -box central midfielder, they are pretty good. He ranks in the 65th percentile or higher for both tackles and pressures, and he could be higher for interceptions, sitting in the 35th percentile, so that is something he can improve on. But remember, he isn't a so destructive ball winner, and he will be playing in a compact 4-2-2-2 system as well, which should aid him defensively. McGinn, unsurprisingly, also doesn't rank extremely highly for these metrics, ranking quite a a bit lower for all three than Hadara. In terms of ball progression, this is where Hadara first begins to stand out, ranking in the 90th percentile for progressive passes and the 80th for progressive carries, which is exactly what United need from their central midfielder, a player who can move the ball forward even with the ball at his feet and him dribbling or through incisive and forward passes, which is what progressive passes are. You can really start to see the difference in levels between a good boxer box midfielder and a very good one, as McGinn still ranks fairly highly for these metrics, but still lower than Hadara for progressive passes and progressive carries, despite ranking a lot higher for dribbles completed. But as you can see from the goal scoring and chance creating metrics, Hadara is producing phenomenal output for a central midfielder, ranking in the 91st percentile for non-penalty goals with 0.18 per 90, and the 90 fourth percentile for non-penalty XG, showing that Hadara is not just getting into goal scoring positions, but also finishing them at an expected rate with a slight overperformance of 0.02 per 90. McGinn ranks pretty highly for non-penalty goals, but as you can see from his 0.07 per 90 overperformance from his non-penalty XG to his actual goals, a lot of these do come from long shots with low scoring probability. Whereas Hadara seem to come from around the box and inside the box, showing that Hadara is probably likely 
ability to sustain this goal scoring output because he is getting into good goal scoring positions rather than producing something special from range, which won't happen as frequently throughout a season. For chance creating metrics, both players rank highly, but Hadara once again is ahead of McGinn for these, ranking in the 88th percentile for shot creating actions, the 71st for expected assists, and the 88th for non penalty XG and expected assists combined. Now, in terms of comparison, I think the role Ilkay Gundawan plays in Guardiola City side is comparable to how we may probably see Hadara deployed in Ranić's 4 triple 2 system, sitting deep in the build up phase, a middle third, circulating the ball quickly, and looking to progress the ball into the final third, but gradually moving forward before making a break into the box from where he can look to either create a goal or score a goal himself. I could see Fred and Hadara being a very good partnership in central midfield with both players having the energy and aggression to do well in a counter pressing style and having Hadara next to Fred will take some of the ball progression responsibility off of him and allow him to focus on circulating the ball and position himself in a way to more effectively win the ball back if the opposition win the ball. So overall, I think Hadara would be a fantastic signing for Manchester United, exactly the type of central midfielder that Ranić needs in that counter-pressing 4 2 system. Hadara is an all-round central midfielder and offers the tackling ability and ability to break up the play that Manchester United have desperately needed over the last year or so, but he's also going to bring the creativity in the final third that United lacked from the likes of Fred and McTominay, and Hadara's ability to drive forward with the ball, his energy and movement, his running, and his knowledge of how Ranić likes to play is going to be invaluable for this side especially coming in during January where he's not going to have a lot of time to adapt knowing the role that he has to perform in Ranić's system is going to make his bed in process a lot easier as well so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video remember to subscribe to the channel give the video a like and for exclusive content sign up to my patreon it will help support the channel and also in the description will be some other videos that I think you may like as well